Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome down to a brand new video right here on Theme Park Insanity where today we're checking out something completely new and somewhere completely new for ourselves as well. We're here at Yorkshire Wildlife Park over near Doncaster. Now, this attraction has seen a significant expansion over the last couple of years, including the building of a hotel, a purpose-built plaza area where there's food and restaurants, uh, souvenir shops and so much more and it does play host to the UK's only polar bear too so we're going to go check in now get through meet up with everybody everybody we're also here today with love to explore Ben and Holly's theme park adventures hopefully I coaster and quite a few more too it's going to be a fantastic day and I really can't wait to share it with you all so without further ado let's get into it Where are we for you? Yorkshire Wildlife Park in Doncaster. We are. Are you looking forward to this? Yep. You've not been before, have you? In fact, no. we're not, we've are not. we not been at all. So it's somewhere a little bit different. But we've also got a few people joining us today as well. Are you looking forward to seeing them? Yeah. Yeah, and it's going to be really good fun, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. So what's Mrs. TPI think of it all? Yeah, I'm really excited, especially looking forward to the restaurants and um, bar, or whatever it is later. And food and everything food, else. Yes, definitely. Yeah, we've not been before. And again, it's, it's somewhere you've wanted to come for quite a fair while yeah, as well, isn't I've been it? I've you for a while and finally we're here. <laughs> we? we are actually here, yeah. Um, but as you can see, I mean, there's a massive Ferris wheel there for starters. And I mean, that's kind of cool because it does mean that they're obviously planning on kind of adding fairground attractions, maybe. Now, we're just making our way into the Hive area which is where you basically go into the park itself. You've got all the food, the restaurants, the coffee shops. Apparently, according to Aaron, this does some of the best coffee in Yorkshire. So, uh, Aaron, if, if you're watching this, mate, I'm going to give this a try and uh, I'm going to see if the coffee is just as good as you've actually made out. But yeah, we're going to obviously take a walk through now. Hopefully, we'll try and find everyone else. I'm sure they'll be kicking about fairly soon. Yeah, really excited for this. It's going to be good fun. Okay, so we're just making our way into the entrance plaza. So we started off, obviously, you've got Twisted Knot, which does kind of look a little bit like a cafe, I believe. Yep, chocolate espresso. Must be a coffee shop. You can see me in the window. <laughs> we'll go through the glass, see if you can see. Looks that's like actually selling loads of like wooden um, card things. That's quite personalised items. Uh, it's quite sizable inside actually, it's massive. So Very nice, nice little shop I think by the looks of that. You've got flourished denim plants, which I'm assuming obviously sells plants. <laughs> uh bonbons, like a nice little sort of children's clothing. So this is lovely, this is it's really different. Cornerstone coffee, I'm gonna go in there in a second and grab a coffee. You've got the Pangea or Pang Pangea dinosaur stall. Again, I'm assuming it sells kind of sort of themed dinosaur stuff. There's photo opportunities there like that with the egg. Yeah, definitely going to go grab a coffee in a second. 
But I thought we'd come and have a quick wander around first. You've got the Evolution Experience Restaurant. That was quite nice, I'm have to give that a go. Uproar Play Barn. So consumably a big indoor play centre for kids. And then like a lovely little area here, like almost like a sort of amphitheatre style thing. Which I assume will be for live outdoor entertainment. And of course there is more on the other side of that building there too, which we will show you shortly. But this is a lovely sort of first impression. Very modern, very clean. Uh, yeah, the upkeep of this is fantastic. And the fact they have obviously added what they've added and expanded it the way they have is great. It really is. Anyway, let's go grab some coffee. Right, Aaron, so this one's on you, mate. If this coffee isn't as good as you make out, then uh, <laughs> you've recommended it to me enough times, but God, look at all these. Wow, food looks fantastic. Sweet treats up there, cats, I've seen them all there, cakes and things like that. Hot drinks, ice drinks, bacon butties, all that sort of thing. So breakfast stuff there available too. You've got kids' picnic boxes available. Soup of the day, which actually that looks quite nice. But yeah, these look really tasty. Really, especially the garlic mushroom and brie back there, that looks really good. Yeah, very nice. Sausage rolls. I, I'm, the, the cakes are drawing me to them. I really should be eating sugar at this time of morning, but I'm tempted. We've also got cold drinks as well, which feels just having a quick look into there. So obviously there's a small range of cold drinks. I'm going to be getting coffee because it's freezing out there. Of course, it's January. But yeah, this looks really nice. Right, I'll speak to you when I sit down. And uh, Aaron, if this coffee's not as good, mate, <laughs> but I'm sure it will be. Right, Aaron, let's see and uh, put this to the test. Yeah, 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 that, that's nice. That's really nice, actually. Yeah, very good. You're right. <laughs> so how's your drink? Nice. You're good? Yeah. What have you got? Salted caramel milkshake. Salted caramel milkshake. Yeah, nice. And you've got a turmeric latte, haven't you? Yeah. You really don't like being on camera, do you? <laughs> well, as I say, I've got my coffee and yeah, it is as good as it says. But we're also joined by Stacey and Mike from Love to Explore. Holly, Ben and the crew from Holly and Bolly, Ben and Holly's Theme Park Adventures. Sorry, I do apologise. It's still very early in the morning. But have you guys been before or is this your first visit as well? 2019 was last time I came, so it's changed massively. Wow, so a big transformation from when you came last time. Yeah. Oh yeah, you've got you've got a few little friends there, haven't you? God, they're absolutely adorable, they really are. Fantastic, but yeah, I think we're all very excited to kind of get in. We're just waiting for Ryan from iCoaster to come and join us, and we have been joined by Trekking Taylors later on as well. So there's going to be a, a pretty decent sized group of us. I'm very excited. And uh, there is a few presents that... Uh, Mike and uh, Stacey brought me up as well. We'll show you those in a bit. Unfortunately, I'll put them away in my bag for now. But yeah, very, very exciting times. It's going to be a fantastic day. I really can't wait to get started. Okay, so we're just heading up to the entrance now. We've already purchased our tickets online. I would advise doing so because there is around about a £5 per person difference between the on-the-gate price and uh, actually pre-booking online. Now, we paid £19.50 for adults and £17.50 for children online. If you do pay on a day, you're looking around about £23 each and probably about £22 for children. So, realistically, it does make a lot of sense to kind of pre-book things in advance. And it's the same with any attraction, really, in all fairness. It's no different. But, yeah, we're going to get in now. Uh, really looking forward to this. We've had a coffee, got our caffeine fix, and we're going to make our way in. So uh, I'll talk to you when we get on the other side of these turnstiles. Right, so we've literally got through, we just scanned our barcodes that we had, really simple process, got given a guide as well, so you've got a guide. And here we go, first reactions, wow. So they've obviously got a dinosaur theme going on here with uh, dinosaur things that you can explore, so obviously we'll check that out later on. And then throughout the winter they also do like a winter trail or winter sail as well, so it's, it's lovely, it really is, but yeah. I think that's probably some of the old lanterns from the old lantern trail over winter. And to be fair, actually, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> but the place is massive. What are your first thoughts? Yeah, very impressed so far. Looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It really does. What are you excited for the most? I've just seen the animals, I think. Yeah. yeah. You've got polar bears as well. So, well, polar bears, so that should be quite yeah. cool, shouldn't it? Yeah. Something a bit different? Yeah. Excited? Yeah. Fantastic. We're going to go have an explore shortly. Yeah. What are you most excited for? I'm excited for the polar bear. I've never seen one. No, to be fair, I've no, never seen one. I've never seen animals. Yeah, I've not seen a polar bear before, before either, so. Uh, never. That yeah, should be good. And we are, of course, joined by Ryan from iCoaster as well. How are you doing, mate? Okay? I'm not too bad yourself. Yeah, not too bad. Can't complain. Ready for a nice chilly walk around Yorkshire oh, yes. Wildlife Park? 
very, very cold. I wish I brought my gloves today. Yeah, <laughs> to be fair, but we've all had a, sort of had a coffee before we came in, and I think you probably I could have done with that. <laughs> so I'm jealous of you. But... Could have done a caffeine fix. I think we'll grab one later on, definitely. Looking forward to it. Yeah, and also Sunday's 8 p.m. Watch yeah. Theme Park and Sunny. Absolutely, yeah. Live right. tonight. <laughs> so it's going to be a bit of a rush to get back, but yeah, no, we're uh, looking looking forward to that. And uh, right, enough of me talking. Let's go take a wander around. That's the hex tree, isn't it? A tree chained with a vault sealed for two centuries. See, I knew the tree was in the car park, but I always assumed it was a different one. I've not been down there, I've not been This is lovely so far. So it's very spread out. There's a lot to see. We've been here literally two minutes and already we've seen sea lions and bush dogs. And quite a few other things. It's lovely. It's a very nice atmosphere. Very different from being at a theme park. Not too dissimilar to being to a zoo, but it doesn't really have that zoo feel. Um, but as a family attraction, it's perfect. And as I say, with so much to see, we've been so spread out, you can probably more than likely spend a good day here and not see everything. So obviously we'll see as we kind of go around just how much we do see, but yeah, I'm very impressed so far. And the way they've kept the grounds like they have, and the way that everything is laid out and presented, it's, yeah, it's beautiful. It really is stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. First impressions, I'm very impressed with it. Yeah, definitely can't complain. So as you do go around, there is these kind of lovely little boards as well, sort of telling you about uh, the animal's kind of natural habitats and a little bit about them and obviously whereabouts in the, the world they would not ordinarily be located. So obviously this one kind of covers quite a few things to be fair actually. It gives you sort of like nice little snip, sort of snap facts of things. Charles Darwin explored the area, so obviously it's to do with the Galapagos or oh, Atlantic rainforest. But yeah, it's lovely. The fact that they're obviously, you've got the animals to look at and then you kind of got these fact boards as you go around as well. Very impressive. And also, as I said, because you've got so much to see, it's either you really take your time with it or you come and do this over several days because you can't see everything in one go. No way in hell. There is literally too much to see. Yeah, very impressive. Look at me. It's pausing. Check me out. Now you see me! No you don't. Now you see me! No you don't. Now you see me! Oh my gosh, now you see everyone. Now you see us all! We're all coming to get you! Or, or, or! Hello there! Nice day! Lovely day for a dip, dear! We've got chips and you can't have them! Ha <laughs> ha! Right, so we just had a look at the sea lines. Yeah, the, the little area is great, it really is. It's so spread out. I mean, this is the thing that the enclosures and everything that the animals have here are huge. So they've got plenty of room to kind of sort of play and just feel like they're kind of in their natural habitats, which is really nice. It, it gives them that space rather than kind of compacting them all in, so that's really great. But yeah, just taking a wander now, seeing what else is around. It says manned wolf over there, but I don't quite know what that is. So we're going to as nice can see. It looks like there's an old device. I don't know if I'm not too sure what that is actually, but yeah. Me neither. Oh, is that a tapir? Is it a tapir? Yeah. Uh, At first, I thought it was going to be a snake because this branch like snake colours on it. Yeah, yeah, like a reptilian sort of thing. So, a red panda is currently chilling in a tree. Literally just sleeping in the middle of the branches. Bless it. Um, one of the ladies that was on that old town, she's a paramedic, and the four of them are going. So, first impressions so far, Stacey, what do you reckon? Impressed? I like it. I love red pandas, so that's been her day already. Lovely, isn't it? It's, it's really nice. It's very spread out, isn't it? Yeah, I love the atmosphere. Like, everything's just a nice walk through. It's not all cramped in one area. Yeah. yeah. I think that's the thing, like, the fact that it's so spread out as well. It's, 
it does add something to it. It kind of feels, it feels like you've got a bit of an expedition, really, doesn't it? Mm. <laughs> a little bit in between there, like if you've got little families, which yeah. is quite good. Like, like play areas. little play areas for them, like that, there as well. Yeah, but, kind of like a little bit in between if you want to stare at the pandas. So just so, which are there. quite literally there, they get fed at the moment. There was one over on that little platform over there, but I think it's gone up, gone up somewhere else, into a tree. In fact, they're actually up there. <laughs> But yeah, Stacy says there is also little opportunities for kids to kind of play in and on the way around as well. So Phil's currently up on the rope bridge up there having a climb up. But it's good, that, you know, there is these little things because otherwise, I mean, there's, there's things for the adults and there's things for the children. So the adults get to look at the animals and all the enclosures and then obviously the kids have little play areas like that to kind of sort of keep them occupied. Little interactive things like this over here where you can obviously sort of bang on the, uh, bang on the planks. <laughs> But it is very well laid out. It's very, very easy to sort of navigate your way around. Uh, it's not too difficult to know where you're going. And as I say, with it being so sort of well spread out, there's so much to see. As I keep, I know I've said that before, but there genuinely is. There is genuinely loads to see. So that's it's great. It really is. Anyway, let's kind of let's keep walking around. So Phil's having a play as well. That. <laughs> Mike's been a big kid. <laughs> on the water. Find that on the on the uh, frogs at uh, St. Alfred Lock and the frogs at um, Calvers Metlock. Fantastic. <laughs> Brilliant. But it's great they've got those, obviously. Yeah, it's, it's just stuff for kids to do. Really, it's great. looking at it, it looks as if areas are kind of split up into sort of differently themed areas. Now we've just been down what was called Himalayan Pass and we're now making our way into Ethiopia which obviously we would assume means that they've got animals from various different places around the world and they've kind of themed it to those areas which works really well. So it's kind of nice to sort of have that immersion and obviously you know the fact they've, they've really thought about the layout of it as opposed to just sticking loads of animals here there and everywhere. But as I said before, it's beautiful and the fact it is so open as well, especially on a sunny day like this, just makes it. Now we're now making our way up to where the baboons seem to be, so I'll turn the camera around in a second. But yeah, very impressed so far. So Kelly and Phil have elected to have a, a bit of a lie down and a nap. <laughs> in the middle of Yorkshire Wildlife Park in a gigantic wooden hammock. But this is another area obviously that's designed for kids to kind of have a play and stuff like that. And as I said, it is good they have these. And also as well, there is little snack sort of vans in and around. Now, unfortunately this one is closed today, but we would assume obviously on peak days, stuff like that will be open. So it's not as if you kind of go around the park and have to wait until you get back to where the actual main entrance is before you can have something to eat and drink again, because there is these opportunities to kind of have sort of ice creams and cold drinks and that sort of thing here as and when these are open. So great, really, really great. So we're now into what I assume will be the older part of the park. Now, originally it did used to come in through a different entrance. And now that they built the hive and everything else, you do come in over that side of the park. But <laughs> over this side of the park, you've got leopards, uh, you've got tigers, lions, you've also got giraffes, which I'll show you in a second. And a gigantic viewing platform as well. <laughs> Quite high up. Now you've got I think it's the leopard enclosure on that side. I'll show you the, show you guys that in a second. But it's a good old giraffe behind me there. Chilling and eating. Hopefully we'll get some more footage of that soon. Soon. Yeah, it's lovely and it does carry on and on and on. Sorry for sounding a bit out of breath, but it is very cold today. Very, very cold. <laughs> but yeah, we're having a fantastic time so far. And the fact there is as much as there is, and, and I've said it before, but the fact that there is as much as there is to see is, is great. Is. Anyway, let me show you the leopards. Okay, so I think these are actually the tigers, sorry, not the leopards, I do apologise. But um, there is one behind those trees over there. <laughs> Somewhere around, but yeah. Again, you know, the enclosures are absolutely massive. They've got loads of room. 
They're very, very well protected. Obviously, the, the fences are massive. There's no way they're getting over those at all. And the fact that the viewing platform is high up. I mean, you're a good 20, maybe 30 feet up here, actually, which is pretty high up. Now, they've got all these climbing posts and everything else that they can get up and explore. But it's really, really well put together for them. So as we're making our way around, we're finding out that obviously there is a lot more here in terms of catering options than you first thought. Now, when we first came in, we thought that the only stuff that was actually available was over at the Hive, but as it turns out, both here on the other side of the park, as well as in and around, there are little outlets and additional coffee shops and things like that where you can, can get more food. Now, as you've probably just seen, they have the Maasai Coffee House over here. You can get a range of uh, cakes and snacks, hot foods, cold drinks, hot drinks, and everything else. And the prices aren't too bad. They're they're about what you'd expect them to be so between about two to three fifty something like that for a hot drink uh obviously everything else is priced the way it is and it's not bad value for you know what is actually available it really isn't but yeah fully impressed with that as i say we are now over in what seems to be the older side of the park so i'll show you guys a little bit of what's around here um and then obviously we'll start to head back over to the other side where the kind of little village area is but yeah this is really cool it's a great family attraction and as the day is going on, it's getting more and more busy, so you can certainly tell that it's very popular indeed. Alright, time to go check out giraffes. Thank you very much, Holly. Very kind. <laughs> oh, having some food. It's quite pungent in here, isn't it? I mean, I, pref I prefer to see the other side of your pal, but if I have to look at you that way, then fair enough. <laughs> you take a picture of his beef. I don't know about you, but I think I'd rather be looking at his face, not his, uh, not his, not his derriere. But hey, there's a face up there. Oh, there is a face. Oh, you can't really see it too well, but yeah, there is a face up there somewhere. Anyway, yeah, the uh, the giraffes are having the food at the moment, so uh, yeah, there you go. So again, there is yet another outdoor play area for children. This one, of course, is far, far bigger. Much more like a traditional outside sort of outdoor play... I say outside playground, outdoor playground. There's, there's loads here. There really, really is. Obviously, you've got a swing here, which feels absolutely loving. Holly's joined in for a swing on there. You've got a zip line over there. You've got climbing frames. You've got all sorts. It's great. And again, this is over the sort of uh, older side of the park as well. Yeah, great. So according to this, camels were actually used to create the voices of Chewbacca in Star Wars films. It says, it says camels make many noises, their rumbling sounds were used to create Chewbacca's voice in the Star Wars movies. Well, there you go. So Chewbacca's officially a camel. Who knew? Right, so we're finally at the polar bears. <laughs> Out of all the things I've been looking forward to seeing the most, the polar bears are definitely it, without a shadow of a doubt. And looking at the enclosure that they've got, they've got loads of room. Now, not only have they obviously got a nice big sort of size lake, lake to play in, but they've also got plenty of grass to play and sort of run around on as well. So hopefully I'll kind of show you them in a second, but yeah, this is something I've definitely been looking forward to the most. And it's great to finally see something like this actually in person, as opposed to just kind of on pictures, really. Anyway, let me spin the camera around and show you guys exactly what they look like. Go. Very, very playful. Turn right, climb over something at the moment. Ah. Really novel to see something like this in the flesh. Oh, yeah. It's it's very playful. It's pushing the box around. <laughs> So we're now heading into Africa, or it's called Africa. Basically, it's where the lions and various other animals are as well. And yeah, it, it's lovely that the consistent sort of presentation throughout the park, and obviously the you know consistent attention to detail, is very impressive. It all looks really clean. It all looks lovely, regardless of the fact that there's a sewage plant right next to where the polar bears are. Yeah. It's great, it really is, and it's a perfect family day out here at Yorkshire Wildlife Park, it really is. Oh. 
And now, on theme park insanity, it's time for some big cats. Having a sleep and having a yawn. The male licks the female's head before sitting back down and going to sleep. I've been David Attenborough for Theme Park Insanity. I say, Jeff, have you seen Walter? I think he's over there. That's, yes, that way, yes, yes. Oh, never mind, I'll just sit here and wait for him then. Hey, what's that? It's a mic from Love to Explore. <laughs> So we're now over at what used to be the original entrance to West Yorkshire Wildlife Park and over here again you've got more food options, you've got the, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that, <laughs> something bakehouse. Uh, you've also got uh, other things as well, you've got the contact centre, you've got shops, various other things. It's almost like they've got very similar things at both ends of the park, so whether you're over here or whether you're over there, you know, by this point you're probably going to be getting quite hungry. So the fact you have got things over here to come and check out and obviously grab a drink and food again is fantastic. And lovely to see stuff like this throughout the park too. You know, it's not just a case of it all being in one area and then you walk around and there's nothing. There's stuff all the way around. Very, very family friendly. And again, so, so much to see. We've seen the lions. We've literally just looked at meerkats. Um, we've seen polar bears. I mean, we've seen everything. It's been great. And we're not even anywhere near back where we started yet. We've got to make us way all the way over to the other side. Now, there is a large Ferris wheel, which we do plan on riding to. And we believe it's an upcharge. It's not included, obviously, in the price of admission. So we'll check that out as and when we do get back to the hive over the other side. But yeah, having a wonderful day. We really, really are. <laughs> so everyone's currently sat having dinner um, we're going to wait until we get over to the other side to go and try the restaurant out we're not actually eating just yet but they've got some fast food chickens burger chicken burgers all that sort of thing prices sound quite reasonable i believe it was around about six pound for a chicken meal for the kids um, obviously adult ones are a little bit more so that ain't too bad really i mean that's kind of average really for any kind of attraction in it as a role they do and the food does look really tasty i mean obviously as i say we've not got any but yeah, Holly's nice. looks really nice. Yeah. Ben's is, definitely looks decent, and everybody else, you know, people got burgers and stuff. Whoa. Yeah, very, very nice. Nice just to sort of sit down and chill out for five minutes or so and just sort of take a breather and relax. But yeah, we're going to carry on around the park after this, and then we'll be grabbing some food. You alright, guys? <laughs> food all good? Yep, fantastic. Yep, literally exactly the same size. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, we're going to have some food and then we'll take a walk over and see what else is around here. Yeah. It's vlog on vlog. <laughs> I've just, I just literally just missed out. Filming you. I'm just monkeying about. We're off to see some monkeys! Let's go through door then! What, what the door? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't don't let Lima's out! What are you playing at? It's a double door system! You have to wait till we're all in. That's it, we've scared all the uh, But the monkeys might grab your face! <laughs> and all touch you! Start squeezing in. Entry! Please, Lima Law! Don't touch your blasters. Me, don't touch your blasters. <laughs> I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it. Yeah, so we're actually in the, uh, the limo. Now, this is really good because it's, it's basically caged so that you can actually walk around and the lemurs are just able to wander where, around where they actually want to do. So the only thing that stops you from getting them is that. Is that going to stop you, Joe? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> 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 
But it is quite cool the fact that you can get that close to them, although at the moment they do seem to be favouring just staying in the cages when they've got the entire run of the enclosure, but they were. Bit of venom in that. They Indeed. don't seem bothered, do they? Not remotely. They seem happy. Well, they've probably been like this for a while, haven't yeah. they? <laughs> Oh, wow, there's a pair of porkers over here. What are they doing? Look at Piggy coming round the corner there. Go on, Piggy, run! Oh my gosh, the wheel. So apparently this is the original polar bear enclosure. The other one over there is actually a new addition. So this is where the first had polar bears. Now there is actually four of them over here. So that's the second polar bear enclosure they have. And this one seems much, much bigger as well. There's obviously there's a lot more in here for them to do. They've got a lovely lake down there. There's two of them just chilling on the hillside over there. But yeah, lovely. Again, very, very spacious. Lots of room for them to run around. I think that is a big yeah. And yeah, beautiful. So we're finishing up our day with a walk through the discovery of dinosaurs Pangaea Kingdom. Now, of course, this is an area that is full of dinosaur animatronics. I think there was some weird reason. And it's safe to say that the theming and the attention to detail with this looks absolutely amazing. Now, I'll spin my camera around in a second so you can see. But you're going to love this. If you love dinosaurs and you love Jurassic World, you got to see this. Okay, so here we go, entering the discovery of dinosaurs Pangaea. Look at that. What a greeting. This is excellent. Now, again, in typical sort of Yorkshire wildlife park fashion, you've got lots of information boards kicking around there telling you a bit about uh, obviously Pangaea and the different ages of Jurassic, Jurassic Cretaceous. And then you're greeted by all these animatronics, which are full-size animatronics by the looks of it. Very, very cool. This is excellent. It really, really is. So much to see, and of course they're all, they're all moving around and roaring and everything else. It's, yeah, really quite cool. Great for families. And again, lots of bars giving you information about dinosaurs and everything else. Absolutely fantastic, this. Great way to finish the day. So can I just say that Yorkshire Wildlife Park are the first park in the UK to get a T-Rex. The first non-theme park to get a T-Rex. Look! It's a T-Rex. Okay, so we're just finishing our day with a quick look around the gift shop. Now, we've just come out of the exit, and what an incredible time we've had checking out West Yorkshire Wildlife, oh, Yorkshire Wildlife Park, should I say. But of course, while well, we're quick looking at merchandise, there's plenty of stuffed toys in here. Massive ranges, as a matter of fact, actually. <laughs> All shapes and different sizes and everything else like that. Pretty much every animal going, as I can tell. So if you do collect stuffed toys, then you're definitely going to get your fill in here because there's plenty of them available. We've also got balloons for the kids. More up there in a second. We'll have a look up there in a second. More stuffed toys. Polar bears. 
Yeah. Yeah. Turtles, dinosaurs, more polar bears, t-shirts, they're quite nice. The West Yorkshire Wildlife, oh, I keep saying West Yorkshire, sorry, Yorkshire Wildlife Park on. Okay, so that's not engraved, or it is actually printed on, but regardless, it's still very, very nice. There's certainly a lot on offer in here, there really is. Loads and loads on offer. It's also quite compact, we're, at, we're literally at the end of the day now, so. Got meerkats, lots of uh, sort of garden resin ornaments, I think, by the looks of it. 34 99 that's not too bad, actually. That's about right. Individually priced, I'm not gonna start lifting things up and showing you, but you get the idea, they're actually quite detailed as well, very nice, you've got a couple of macaws there. You've got even more stuffed animals up here, plenty of stuff for kids. The usual sort of stuff that you find in gift shops. You've got lanyards, Yorkshire Wildlife Park lanyards in different colours, they're quite nice. Plenty of pens. Your price is there. If you want to pause the video and have a look, that's what you can pay for those. Plenty on offer here. More stuffed animals and stuffed toys. Toys unrelated to it, but there we are. Also get your little animal figures here and dinosaurs, dragons, all that sort of thing, if that's what you're kind of into collecting. Some lovely artwork on display there as well. I thought I'll go check that out in a second. Sorry guys, cheers. We've also got magnets available there at 3 99 each, pretty reasonably priced. Bookmarks, 2 99 Quite nice. I'm trying to watch where I'm walking because there's lots of people in here. We've got fridge magnets that look to be made by the same people that make uh, Flamingo Lands. Same design, sort of domed. And they've got key rings there as well, lemurs, <laughs> flamingos, all the key rings down there, unfortunately, I mean there is, actually no there is pin badges, animal pin badges at 4 99 each, slightly bigger ones for 4 50 there actually, is that a magnet, that's a magnet, they're magnets, sorry sir, there's one pin badge and then another range of magnets over here as well, 2 for 5 or 2 99 each. And of course there is other stuff over there, but these look really nice. Obviously you've got, in fact, very nice as a matter of fact, actually. The artwork's fantastic. All framed. I do like the polar bear, actually, that is very, very nice. How much is it? 200 pounds, wow. But again, it does look like it is actually original artwork, so that is pretty, pretty nice. And then you've got more toys and stuff over there. So there you go, that's just a bit of a look at the Safari gift shop. Right, so guess what we're about to go on. That is a long way up. <laughs> See you on the other side. Right, okay, scrap that, here goes. This is a lot higher than most, most big wheels that I've ridden. If I was saying I wasn't nervous, I'd be lying. Let's do this. I'm nervous. This is how we spend the time. The noise doesn't matter. It's just, it's just a moment of tires. Oh gosh. Yeah, we breeze up here. I'm gonna get some cracking views from top of here. That's what I thought. Would it be Yorkshire? Yeah. That you can see some, of the some really good views, I imagine. Stop. Oh, they look like a tuffy course for you. Yeah. Okay. 
Nossa, como eu? Não, eu pensava, às vezes, It's incredible. It's some fantastic views from up there. Oh, it's a coal mine. Oh, there we go. So how was that then? Yeah, really good. Not as high as it looks. You got some good. You do get a good view. You do, yeah. don't you? Yeah. Enjoy that. Yep. It's just that star part. I was gonna regret it. No, oh, you didn't. No, good. I didn't. How was it, Stace? How was it, Stace? Oh, it was alright, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I thought Over here. was actually as well. It was alright, yeah. Yeah, you get some good views on top, you don't you? You get nervous when you're at the top, but... Yeah, so it is nice. a long way up, to be fair, it. isn't it? It's Definitely. worth it. Think Enjoy it? Yeah. yeah, apart from at the top where it stops and it just starts to sway. Yeah, you just kind of sort of sat there thinking, mm, yeah. <laughs> yep, we've got a new... There we go. Oh, he's got a few new additions to a collection there. Oh, they're adorable. But yeah, it is a very long way up, but you do get some cracking views. And to be honest, actually, there's something else I wanted to discuss. So I'll throw a camera around so you can uh, see me. So obviously, as you can see, they've added a big wheel. And they've completely and utterly renovated this entire plaza area. <laughs> but what could that potentially mean for the future of Yorkshire Wildlife Park? Well, the fact that they actually are adding rides such as this to it, and they've expanded their car park to the size that it is, Bearing in mind it is a very big car park now, it's a lot bigger than what they used to have. It does beg the question, do they have much bigger plans of foot for this attraction? Could it potentially end up becoming much more than just a Yorkshire Wildlife Park? Or a wildlife park, should I say? Well, the chances are it probably could, and there's certainly a lot of room here for expansion. The fact of the matter is, they're obviously expecting bigger numbers throughout the summer. And you can see that by the car park. And when they're adding rides and stuff like this, yeah, I think there's going to be a lot more over the coming years in terms of much more varied offerings and the fact that they're also building another hotel as well because they already have the Hex Hotel which is brand new so they're building additional accommodation it does say a lot about what they've probably got planned for the future but regardless we've had an absolutely incredible day today we really really have it's been fantastic it's such a great attraction there's so much to see here we're not even done yet but i'm going to be signing off for now because we're about to go and get some lunch so thank you so much for watching this i really hope you've enjoyed this something slightly different here on feedback insanity and again if you have please make sure you do consider hitting that subscribe button turn on notifications and again if you have enjoyed it leave me a like and let me know if you guys really appreciate it but have you visited yorkshire wildlife park have you been and also if you have what was your favorite additions here do let us know below guys but for now i'm joe this is theme park insanity and i will see you all very soon indeed take care bye bye